Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Woven, which is a game of being a stuffed animal who goes on awesome adventures. Or maybe terrible adventures. I don't know. I haven't played the game yet. I'm still waiting for it to load. Wonder Girl needs more recipes. I will keep that in mind, Wonder Girl. What mess recipes have I already given you? All right. That's a creepy idea for a lock. Lock with tentacle in it? Eww. Unless the tentacle was just trying to clear a sticky lock, in which case that's fine. Damn. I have a recipe for the most delicious uh, vegetarian chili in the world. Okay, so there's someone... We're in a factory and people are making coins in the factory. Oh no, maybe those are buttons because it's woven. I already gave you a lasagna recipe. It's not hard to make good cookies though. People just need to know to use uh, sh uh, honey instead of sugar and molasses instead of brown sugar. Once you do that, any cookie is just massively improved. What happened? Do so you remember how yesterday... Being attacked by a mantis? For Remembrance Day, my aunt misspelled her uh, great-grandfather's name. Yes. And I, I corrected her because my mom said it would be okay. And then my uncle was like, it's my middle name. She's right. It's spelled wrong. And she was like all offended because we all told her she spelled something wrong. They were like, we could, we could, you know, this is the family where we correct people's spelling. My mother's a teacher before that. Yeah. And, you know, the name is my name, but the male version. So I was like, no, that's not the right way you spell her name. Uh, she redid the post oh. and deleted that post. Apparently, she's really upset. I'm very sensitive about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, moral of the story. Don't correct your relatives of how to spell your own name. Nice. Well, it was a ginger. Uh, yeah, it was the Jalen ginger molasses cookie, Wonder Girl. And it's a great cookie. But that's why I make that uh, the ginger molasses cookie instead of just a regular ginger cookie because it has molasses in it. Okay, here we go. Wanders a ragged and lonely soul. I did Horror King. It was very fun. Uh... I didn't crash a wedding. I was invited to a wedding. I just happened to be a stranger who had a driver's license. Oh, this guy's cute. And he's a uh, stuffed elephant, which is pretty... He's named Stuffy, everybody. And not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a Excuse me. Direction. It only takes four minutes to listen to Wonder, Wonder Girl, so you may just want to listen to it. The radio silence creepypasta. Oh. Some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant. He can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. Oh. oh my god, he's limping. I'm a little worried about you, Stuffy. Why are you limping? Do I have to get you repaired? You would have to remind me which games. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although I must admit, the knitting work is excellent. It is a nice pattern. I will agree with that. Oh. So sad to see an injured stuffed animal. Hmm. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not Aww. saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. So well, mean. Not in darkness, anyway. Oh, 
Oh, so I'm forced to run away from it until I've gotten a torch or whatever. Okay. Well, now I know that. I have played Dying Light extensively. It's amazing. Don't remember what BFME is, but of course Dead Island is wonderful. Especially Escape Dead Island. Okay. They're giving us clues about what we're going to see later in the game. Up ahead, an intricate uh. machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it for what also came into view. An adorable bird. I'm reading a meme about things people say wrong, et cetera, is there. Yes, yeah. Stuffy. But they Go think ahead. it should be pronounced et cetera. Make some sound. Well, that's the way that it's written. Yeah. It but that's not actually how it's pronounced? No. But that is how it's spelled. But that's as not long how as, it's pronounced. As long as people are spelling it right, I'm fine. Alright, so I use this to change to magnet oh. power. And what does that do? Battle for Middle Earth. Yes, I haven't been able to find it. Now Glitch wakes Ooh. up and sees the world for the first time. Glitch! Filling wonder blazing. His name is Glitch. World stretched out before him. You're really reaching for these Soft rhymes, woolen. game. And frankly, quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, oh, but now sees soft look at that stuffed elephant. What is going on with this game? It's adorable. It's a stuffed element, so elephant, <laughs> who's me meeting a best friend, who's a drone of some kind. So Glitch paused and thought. Not knowing what to do. Yes, I haven't found a place you can buy a uh, Battle for Middle Earth. For now, maybe. Circumstance have let their paths cross. They should stick together for now and be less at a loss. I like that attitude. Now, for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke, and creaky clocks. Aww. He's from a clockwork planet! Oh, and now he's in a wool planet! That's so cute! Was he the only metal no, there's some metal right over there. Weird frame rate on this game. Oh, that's probably just because I'm recording it. Look out for those that wool long grass. You cannot walk through it. Oh! I meant a place I could download it digitally. It did not occur to me for a second, Wonder Girl, to actually now buy a CD copy of the game. Fiber and stitch. Stood a metal machine. Can't remember the last time I did that for PC. Socket perfect for glitch. Well, you don't have a CD drive. The machine can not on this, but on the other one. With the right pattern, glitch could make any oh no! We could set stuffy right. And found he would do so oh, he's going to repair me with a knitting machine. That's so cute. Battle for Middle Earth. Gotcha. Okay, that was creepy. By this new Yay, I've been patched up. Trumpeted with glee. He's not an owl. He's an elephant. He said he hooted with glee. No, he trumpeted. So what am I supposed to do now? I still can't jump, by the way. What is that? I can stomp! Ah. You reminded me of Dying Light. Reminds me that Stop I should really finish... Uh... Oh. Uh, reminds me I should finish and Die Young, which is, of course, built with Dying Light's engine. You could give a spark. Yay, let's do it! We got a flashlight. I thought it was gonna be a torch, but it wasn't. You'll think out loud when an action can be done. In the oh! Glitch's light gave the That's so cute! Glow. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking Glow and walls don't rhyme. Before the time of woe. Now and woe don't rhyme. Have you given up on rhyming? Oh no! Spiders were menacing the woolen animals! Just like that, we were attacked by a praying mantis at the beginning. Nice. Okay, so... 
still don't know exactly how these different powers work, but I'm Another learning. Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view. With arms like that of an insect, limp and still. Okay, so they're just not doing it's rhyming anymore. Will. Now, why would it do that? I was still yeah, will view cool. clue. Okay. They're just using different rhyming structure now. Spoke to Kitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. I love that. Oh wow, I'm not good at this. You okay? Okay, that's good. Yay, we did it! Oh, we got a new blueprint. It's like an a um uh an artvark head. We can change from uh. Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? Was there a connection? It's an artvark head to replace my elephant head. Ah, a new shape could have. It's true, Wonder Girl. If you want vegetarian chili, I will send you that. Uh, I will put that address on the Discord's. Uh, sorry, that recipe on the Discord's recipe useful, channel. I'm sure. Strong arms and strong feet. And right, how do we transform into it? Will I fir f finally learn to both jump and punch? Because I'd be down with that. This game is really cute. The patterns on certain flowers, patches, or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. Ooh, we can also change color. All right, let's scan. So he's telling me to stomp, which I definitely know how to do. And then he's going to scan it. Oh, Look at that cute new pattern. To your left, your collected animal patterns can give you Okay. You can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is here. So do I not have different heads? Do I only have different heads, no different arms or legs yet? Look at that little anteater. He's so cute. So I can change to the color mustard. Oh, I see. Leather. Ooh. Pattern. Nice. So now I've got a different kind of face. But the same rest of the body. Gotcha. Uh, this place does feel safe, I guess. This game is very cute. Aww, they're such good friends. He had just awoken without memory. If off he flew, where to did he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who is better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? Aww. Alright, so how do I punch? Oh, look at that cute little punch. One arm is bigger than the other? Oh, you're right. I did switch over to an anteater arm, and the other one is still an elephant arm. I'd have to switch both arms manually. I thought both were going to switch on their own, and I was wrong. There are more of those machines as the one in which Glitch had I will keep an eye out, Horror King. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. Did you tag me in your tweets? What they are trying to say, that is. Okay. So this is a new pattern machine. Glitch 
Rich was engulfed by memories, images, and words. Words and worth do not rhyme. But he had been a great word. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost, and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. See, the fact that they're trying to... Like an untamed beast. The Unleashed and beast don't rhyme. Um, the fact that they're... The machine gave Rich a glimpse into his lost memory. Memory in Jeopardy? What are you doing? Like, I don't understand this game's rhyme scheme. Like, 20% of the time, they just either try and fail or don't even bother trying to rhyme. It's all very weird. Let's punch this wool tree! Stuffy was impressed by Glitch. We'll do, Horror King. This complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts. That was sure enough. Mr. Wait. He's the one who solved it? I'm the one who punched. I'm so confused. Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin. The stream swept them on their way Aww. deeper into the meadows, and the hidden wonders that therein lay. Yay! And hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him and made him stare like a fool. Aww. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should. But still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something Yay. so big be held trapped in the sky? He Strings. Into thought, Sorry. Um, they do it with mirrors. That's a, that's a reference to another thing. Staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how. Not caring a whole lot about the why. Aww. He just lives the experience. Long, He's so pleasant. Time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side. And to be taken How did Stuffy home. lose all of his friends? Now I'm worried. I would like to help you, Stuffy. Oh my god. That's a woven lily pad, everybody. With stitching. That thing looks incredible. Seeing the moon had changed Glitch eternally, and to get to it behind the Red Mountains, they should be. Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. Aww. Anyway. So I guess the buttons are a kind of rock? The hills aren't rock. I mean, the hills aren't rocks, but it's just weird to try and figure out what the buttons represent in this world. Yay! It's a machine. It did cost time. That much was true. But Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. He enjoyed it with an enthusiasm so unwavering. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it too. Oh, that's weird. So now I'm fully... So there is both legs, but you can do the arms individually. I understand now! It took me too long to understand, and oh my god. This is such a tubby anteater. He is so cute. Oh, he's looking around. He's like, oh, what's going on up there? Because he's such a cutie. Look at his bushy little tail. I love this guy. Ah, oh, another shape for Stuffy was near. Yet, Glitch had to wonder. Who had put all this machinery here? That's actually a really good question. Oh, Horror King. So cruel. Now, right, let's do this. I can't believe I guessed right. Careful. Mm. 
Come on, we got this. Yeah! Piglet! We can transform into a piglet, everybody. We literally just transformed into an anteater, but piglet sounds fun, too. So what do you think piglet's special powers are? Oh, piglets are good at swimming, right? You know what? I'm thinking of jaguars. My bad. Pigs are good at climbing. No, goats. What the hell are piglets good at? I don't. Big fluffy tail. Any idea where I should go, you crazy monster flying thing? Down there, do you think, maybe? It's true. Although I think Tigger is... I think Tigger is Winnie the Pooh's best friend. Like, I don't doubt that... Uh, Piglet and he are incredibly close friends, but I think Tigger is is the best friend of Winnie the Pooh. I pressed the wrong button, my bad. That one's on me. Alright, so what are its abilities? So this, oh, okay, so this one there's Magnet, which I still don't know exactly what Magnet is, Stomp and Punch. And Elephants can't punch. Not seeing a huge difference in the piglet body. Let's check out the piglet legs. Okay, the piglet legs are look really cute on that anteater. Probably turn off that flashlight there, buddy. Nope. Okay. Just gonna leave it on all the time. Seems slightly wasteful, who am I to judge? What has happened? Um, oh, Don Cherry's racism? Yeah, yeah, I saw about that. Yeah. So, Jagmi Singh responded by po posting a picture of his grandfather who fought in, in both War, World yeah. War I and World War II. Yeah. In uniform. And someone's response is, yeah, but you're not wearing a poppy in this pigger picture, Jagmeet. And I'm so? like, it's a stock photo of him that they, the news organization posted on yep. the Story. article. You absolute moron. You freaking idiot. Well, this place does feel safe, I guess. Yeah, that's a really dumb thing to write. Right? You moron. Right? I'm sure he was wearing one today, idiot. Huh. I wasn't wearing one today. No, but that's because you're wearing a leather jacket. I No, I took off my jacket. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. What's going on up here? I didn't realize we had to put oh, on a poppy okay. to maintain our uh, citizenship. What you got to remember is Don Cherry is a racist. Yep. And always has been kind of a dick. He's not someone whose opinions are important, and he's always been a jerk. What I'm saying is, I don't like John, um, uh, I don't like Don Cherry and never have. Yeah. If you're not Canadian and you're lucky enough, oh, that's what the back oh, the I've difference is. I've always hated Don Cherry. I mean, it kind of his choice in oh no, he's got the best fashion sense of any Canadian. Everyone knows that. Well, no, that's not true. No, I think he might have the best of any Canadian. Who I dresses? Think has a better fashion sense. No, no, yeah, no, no. I wouldn't see him in a uh, a jacket with a carnation pattern. I don't know, man. If I did, I would agree. I'm just not saying. I'm not saying. That's true. The snake in the Jungle Book is Winnie the Pooh. I always found that strange as a kid. That Ka, the hypno snake, is clearly just uh, the guy doing the exact same voice he does for Winnie the Pooh. Not even mixing it up at all. So, I'm not misremembering this, right? Don Cherry got fired before for crap like this. No, he got sus I don't think he got fired. I think he got suspended. I'm pretty sure he got fired. I could be wrong, then. And they just, then he just appeared Came back. again. Yeah. This valley oh. is full of life, but to glitch, something felt... Well, oh, God, let's excuse him for a Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. 
Yeah, except again, Jugmeet Singh's grandfather fought in both world wars and was probably not as much of a racist as Don Cherry. I know plenty of old people who aren't racists. Don't say that's just the way old people talk. I know plenty of old non-racists, so I don't know what their justification is. If he's not willing to keep learning, why is he relevant? Oh, well, we have to keep him around because he reminds us of an older, dumber time. Okay. Seems like a really low bar to keep our public figures to. Oh. A short intermission was fine. His actual enthusiasm showed by asking Stuffy. All right. So what let's color, what color are we gonna do this time? this time? We're going 100% purple, everybody. We're going a 100% purple anteater pig hybrid. Anteater pig. Oh my God! Look at him. He's so cute. I can see that. That's true. Uh, you say that, Horror King, but I would like to find out. Oh, no. The snake might be friends, right? Like, we're buddies? The big snake looked stuffy up and down and shook his head with a passion. Oh. Could it be because their outfits did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither. But apparently they do. So we have to go find his pattern, scan it, and then put it on. I see. Uh, yes. I think it's more likely that the snake was just a big fan of Winnie the Pooh. And was doing a Winnie the Pooh impression. Because I don't know if the timeline ma uh, matches up. That he could have transformed into him. Alright, I gotta be on the lookout for patterns now. Apparently that is grass fashion. Whatever the heck that is. Alright, let's do this. So, I have to change the pattern. Oh, I do like the sun. How is grass fashion not a pattern? Okay, I look pretty bizarre now. Like, this isn't a complaint. I love it. Yay! Fun fact. Although this appears to be in 3D, not 3D, uh, have analog controls, I can only walk in eight directions. Forward, forward and right, the snake right, and so on and so forth. Fancy display. I would agree. He seemed happy and lifted his tail out of the way. Snake's got taste. Right. What do you want? Let's go. I just saw ads for Ring Fit Adventure. I'm considering getting it. It looks like a lot of fun, Wonder Girl. Do you know anyone who uh, who has they played it? To find a way up to the Red Mountain Range, Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. What do you mean, current Rather, shape would give trouble? It was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy. Aww, they're so cute. Surely there was no <laughs> sense in cuddling the sheep or playing chase with the bees. Nor uh, looking for uh, other hidden adventures between uh, trees. Quote, I'm definitely going to follow the people together. It unites us, what not divides us. Glitch saw a metal oh. Yeah, oh, come on, wings. guys. Memories of really? Stunned him with a vision of I love the idea that anyone thinks sports can divide people really when the main people vision. fight about is whose no sports there. team is better than... Sports don't divide. Yes. Must have been yeah, sorry. Yeah, that sports don't divide. It's like... All people do all the time is argue about which sports team is better. Sports are designed to turn people into tribes to get them to fight with each other. And you can say, well, it's more an imp sheep. Uh, more sheep. Okay, uh, so one of them looked unique. Sure, Glitch could scan the pattern as long as the sheep were meek. Oh. 
Well, scan away, buddy. Like, and you can make the argument that, well, you know, it's important for humans to be able to argue over stuff without killing each other, so sporting events are a healthy kind of tribalism. And, like, I get that logic, but at the same time, don't pretend that in any way, shape, or form, sports are about uniting people. That is not what sports are for. You can also just join debate teams or whatever. I have never seen uh, pigs. Yeah, but the problem is, in debate, there's not a winner. Like, there's not a... Like, there can be a winner, and oh, the adjudicator has points. Trivia teams, then. Trivia teams is better. But in sports, there's... I mean, but trivia teams are a kind of sport, in a way that debate isn't. That's not really sport. It's academic. There you go. But, I mean, it's literally called academic decathlon. <laughs> it's part of that. Yeah, but... Stuffy did you not get the joke there? Oh, no, I did. Yeah. Okay. And suddenly I was really proud of that. That's a very good joke. Everyone thinks so. Which side? This stuffy was very easily Aww. distracted. Should he really even bother? Okay, let's get stuffy then, apples. Oh, One way or the other. Apparently, Ring Fit Adventure is a ton of fun, and we should get it. All right, I will keep a look on that for Christmas, uh, Wonder Girl. How do I get over there? I can't punch the thing that's blocking my way. And in case I didn't answer that yet because I got distracted, I have not seen the horror movie Pigs. I assume it's about killer cops? Oh. Thank you for the recommendation, Wonder Girl. So I have to get to it before the boar does if I want the apple. Gotcha. But why do I want the apple? Oh no, sports can, they absolutely can bring people together, Horror King. They can also separate them. I'm just saying sports aren't one thing or the other. They are not a cure-all for human division. But likewise, like, every time there's an Olympics, people all get behind their country's team, and everybody, whatever, you know, objections they have to each other in day-to-day -day life, friggin', well, we're all Canadians when the Canadians are playing the Swedes in curling. I've experienced that. I've gone and watched curling events in public with bunches of people. It's a, it's a wonderful communal experience. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Wait, did the apple not fall again? What's happening? Oh, did I have to wait for him to get back? I think I had to wait for him to get back. There it is. Okay. So you don't have to hate to tell me that. You're completely right. I'm just saying it's not a universally good or bad thing. Especially when people like Don Cherry use it to divide people by, say, just off the top of my head, accusing uh, all French people of being wimps and cowards because of how they choose to play hockey. That kind of thing. Quickly, how do I get it? Magnet. Magnet is still not what I need to do. Did I do it in time? I don't think I did it in time. Well, at least now I knew what I was supposed to know what I was supposed to do. I was hoping there would be a new Wii Fit for the uh, Switch. For example, Switch Fit. Get it? It's a pun. Like Switch Hit. I can see that working. Then again, Don Cherry might be in the minority of types of people. But for many, many decades, he has been our uh, chief, uh, chief authority in public on hockey. And uh, he has been, as a consequence, poisoning the national discourse. Uh, discourse. Okay, Ed the Sock. What about him? Today's firing of Don Cherry is the epitome of what veterans fought Epitome. Uh, epitome. Oh. It's okay. A country with no tolerance for intolerance. Ed the Sock. That's right. Ed the Sock has a better take than uh, Don Cherry. It's Here's my question. 
I don't understand, uh, uh, for people who are watching this outside of Ontario, Ed the Sock is a popular TV presenter uh, who is a sock puppet. And that's all you need to know. Uh, there's there, a there channel is... called City TV in uh, Toronto that had a lot of sleazy and zany programming, and so they're just like, let's just have a sock be our presenter so we don't have to have a human being promoting all of this stuff. And he became something of a cultural icon. He's... He is in many ways our Triumph the Insult comic dog. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, except he was first. Yes. So he's, he's you know, a cigar-smoking sock puppet with green hair. Yeah. Who often had porn stars and yeah, et cetera on his show. Yeah. And was not known for his, um, uh, what's, what's the word? witty um, no yeah balanced um duckies ducklings not, not offensive yeah no he was uh he was a sleazy creep yeah. and that's why we loved him and he's the voice of reason also can i can i put out the real villain here yeah. like is this uh, and this may not be accurate but the way i saw the video clip is that something he said extemporaneously or was it like part of a planned monologue from him no it was speaking bullshit. Oh, okay. Well, that's There's fine. some kind of BS story out there I just want to know, like, did someone okay him saying that? Oh, God, no. He goes off script all the time. Okay, that's, good. That's how he gets in trouble. Ugh, oh, what is but wrong with you, Don Cherry? There's, a, there's an online story that a town oh, in Ontario Beaver. isn't wearing poppies for Remembrance Day. Of course. But that's not true. No, of course not. But he's an old man who believes everything he reads on Facebook if it makes immigrants look bad. Yeah. Oh, what's going on with the beavers? And he said that people are trying to say that he meant just people that didn't wear poppies, not new immigrants, even though he said new Canadians, and then in this next, like, sort of sentence or paragraph in his diatribe said, you people. Oh, what is wrong with this guy? He's like, well, he's not racist. He also means Irish people. Oh, I hate this guy so much. And by the way... Yeah, I know Ireland was neutral in the world wars. So? It's 70 years later. Well, they said Irish, Scottish, English, so... Oh, well, that's extra crazy. Yeah, because I'm like, well, they wear poppies, idiot. I know plenty of Scots or uh, people who wear poppies. One river down. Yeah, that's crazy. Was due. Still, Glitch felt this world was in danger, even if that was hidden from view. Aww. And even more the stranger... He felt there was something he should do. Was his pull to the moon some sort of meaningful communication? Or no more than a firefly's fascination? Because oh, he's a firefly. He's so cute. Whereas all I do is get on the treadmill. Although it does sound like this is going to be good for that. Fled stuffy, a rhyme came to Birds mind. of a feather flock together. So you're saying I have to pretend to be a squirrel oh. if I want to take them into my confidence? And find out where they have hidden the golden nut. I don't know if there's actually a golden nut. I'm just very much hoping there is. Uh, what question was that, Horror King? Dustin the turkey? No, I've never heard of Dustin the turkey. Oh. Who is he? God, this game is so cute. Like this is this is a perfect kids game. Like this is the perfect game for just a bunch of kids to relax with, hang out with some cute little animals, scan them and steal their souls, and then you know use their powers to take over the moon. That's the plot of this game, right? I'm being sarcastic. I know it's much more pleasant than that. Uh, although it is possible we're here to get rid of the oh. evil guys who have taken over the moon. He, he's he's. Ireland's uh, Ed the Sock or Triumph the Insult Dog. Oh, okay. Nice. But Ed the Sock still predates him! There you go. 1989! <laughs> Ed tiny. the Sock was early There's 80s, no wasn't he? Danger yeah. I don't know exactly. I mean, this is how sleazy uh, City TV is. The movie Videodrome is based on City TV. That's just a fact. Uh, David Cronenberg movie starring James Woods. Oh, right. Yeah. 
All right, so we have turned uh, Argyle. We have met some adorable animals. This game is super cute, but we're going to take a break here. I've been the hidden object guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. It's weird. You get hung up on the ground quite frequently in this game. And the whole only being able to run in eight cardinal directions is a little strange. But anyway, as I was saying, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related to whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. I'll see you back here for more Very uh, new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.